Hey everybody, today we're talking about Ultimate Spider-Man Hollywood. Hey everybody, I'm Brick Cena. I'm your host as always, and we're talking more Ultimate Spider-Man. This is Hollywood, this is volume 10. This contains issues 54 to 59, and this is kind of a weird story. It's not great. Uh, it is fun, though, because it does feature, again, Doc Octopus, Dr. Oc, Doc Oc, Dr. Octopus, however you say his name. Uh, he comes back, but he's basically pissed. And he's in prison at the Triskelion, which is the Ultimate's headquarters in the Ultimate Universe here. And it's a little weird because we just saw him at the end of Ultimate 6. And that had issue 46 now we're 10 issues later so it's like all right where does this take place um and when doc ock talks to peter in this book he talks to him as if he had not seen him i don't know a couple months ago in the ultimate six volume we just read he talks to him as if the last time he saw him was in volume two of ultimate spider-man where we first met him in the main spider-man book so that is really really weird and that's the thing that i think threw me off the most of like why why is it doing this but anyway the other weird thing about this is that this is the storyline where um sam raimi's making the spider-man movie in the ultimate universe basically toby mcguire is also playing spider-man although they don't know that spider-man's a kid so they're just kind of making up as they go along spider-man's being held up by a rope and one of these action scenes, like not really a stunt line or anything. And it basically turns into the movie guys. Avi Arad is also in this book. If you remember the Spider-Man DVD extras, you definitely know who he is. And uh, just kind of like, hey, the real Spider-Man is really fighting Doc Ock, who's pissed that we stole his story uh, from his ex-wife. And uh, you should go film them actually fighting for real because it's going to save us budget on our, uh, you know, because we're not going to have to shoot it ourselves. So it kind of works for them. You don't see the really finished movie, but there's kind of a fun story arc in here, story arc in here where Kong, the, uh, the sidekick bully, is like, I'm going to go be an extra in the movie, and he's like in the cut at the end. That's fun. Um, there's some big revelations towards the end with one particular character. Um, I'll just say she's blonde, and she meets a, a guy in a red suit, not Santa, and um, things start to spiral after that. So it's... It's a pretty fun storyline. It get, gets a pretty good setup for the next one, which is like really good. I don't know about good, but it's definitely tragic. Um, but yeah, overall, this goes back to the fun tone uh, of Ultimate Spider-Man that we had in the, what was it, Volume 8? I forget what Volume 8 was. I think that was the Ultimate Knights where he had met Black Cat and Electro, right? So, not Ultimate Knights. Anyway, the Cats and Kings, that's what it was. So it goes back to that fun, jovial thing of Ultimate Spider-Man. And uh, man, we're about to be in for it in the next volume. So let's uh, end this video and get to that one. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you thought of Ultimate Spider-Man Volume 10 Hollywood down below in the comments. We'll see you guys next time in the funny pages.